Here is a brief uh, movie on another type of cartilage called fibrocartilage. And the reason this doesn't look normally pink and blue is because it's not done with the hematoxylin and eosin stain. It's done with a stain called an elastic stain. And you can probably recognize it as being cartilage because it has all these little spaces, all these lacunae, and you can see the nuclei of the chondrocytes living within them. But in addition, especially towards the center of the cartilage where the lacunae are the most open as compared to the periphery of the cartilage or the perichondrium, which more, looks more like fibrous connective tissue, you see all of this little black substance. And the closer you zoom in on it, the more you could see that the black substance is very, very uh, uh, much looks like fibers. And uh, this is fibrocartilage. And you could see at this power that you could actually see these little elastic fibers. Once again, if this was hyaline cartilage and you stained it with the elastic stain, you wouldn't see these black uh, fibers. Also, once again, if both hyaline cartilage and elastic cartilage were put next to each other, you probably couldn't tell them apart. The only way you could tell elastic cartilage is if you do elastic stain and you see black fibers, or if you happen to know that this uh, cartilage is from the ear, E-A-R, the epiglottis, E-P-I-G-L-O-T-T-I-S, or the eustachian tube, E-U-S-T-A-C-H-I-A-N tube, all of which begin with E, so you know that's its elastic cartilage. Thank you very much.